Dear Santa, why do all of my toys say made in China? I guess even you can't abstain from the allure of cheap labor. Oink oink, you capitalist pig. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Josh knows too much for his age, doesn't he? Hey everyone, my name is Jake and welcome to r slash mad lads, where we look at the maddest lads. That, that's pretty much it. Here's a quick disclaimer. How to effectively fight plagiarism. Anti-plagiarism detecting programs show that I have a paragraph from Wikipedia. I opened Wikipedia and deleted the paragraph from there. <laughs> That's a good workaround. I see no way this could possibly backfire. <laughs> Hi mate, that's me with the golf tee in my mouth. Any chance you could make it look like my friend has taken a shot? No doubt. <laughs> I wondered how long it would be until we saw this guy. I see him all over the other subreddits. <laughs> Can you write a whole paragraph without the letter A? I wouldn't recommend it. Honestly, your sentences will just sound wrong. Everyone will notice you're doing something different. Your writing won't flow smoothly. You'll use weird words. It's not worth the effort involved in spending time online looking up tons of synonyms which don't feel right just to produce weird, stilted prose. You'd be better off giving up, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, he made that look very easy, but I guarantee he spent like two hours doing that. <laughs> what are the most profound jokes ever? An MIT linguistics professor was lecturing his class the other day. In English, he said, a double negative forms a positive. However, in some languages such as Russian, a double negative remains a negative, but there isn't a single language, not one, in which a double positive can express a negative. A voice from the back of the room piped up, yeah right. <laughs> oh, I, I've read this a lot of times, but it took me so long to understand this the first time. It, just, just think about it. They all matched with the same girl on Tinder, so they decided to send her a group picture. <laughs> oh no, I think we all know how this ends. <laughs> Let me out, it's dark in here. Irish funeral bursts into laughter when pre-recorded message of dead man calling out from his coffin is played. <laughs> um... I mean, plot twist, he was actually in there and his family were just laughing at him. <laughs> My roommate saved bacon grease for six months in a mason jar. I kept asking him what he was going to use it for and he wouldn't tell me. One day, I come home from work and the whole apartment smelled like bacon. I investigated and found three very well-made candles lit in the living room. He comes out of the bathroom and announces that I can't smell his poop because he made bacon candles. So we just smelled like bacon for months. Oh, and edit. Number one, I don't know how he made them, but they were for sure handmade by an amateur, not store bought, so I know he did it. Number two, they smelled exactly like bacon. Not burnt grease, not old food, just like bacon. Like exactly, it was nuts. And three, it did cover up bad smells in the apartment entirely. It also covered good smells and neutral smells. There was no other scent in that apartment than bacon. I can't stress this enough. I could stick my face in my gym shoes, bacon. Or I could take a big dump, bacon. Or spray for breeze, bacon. Open a window, you guessed it, bacon. It got to the point that outside air smelled funny. I later realized that it didn't smell weird outside. I was simply smelling the absence of bacon. <laughs> I wonder what other foods you could do this with. Like, surely there are some good ones. Bacon being the best, but there's gotta be some others. I saw my boy across the bar tell some girl he travels for work. That man delivers pizza. <laughs> you gotta give respect to him. Sometimes you need to dollop the truth a bit, you know? 
Two days ago, I named my Wi-Fi to Hack It If You Can. Yesterday, it was changed to Challenge Accepted. <laughs> That's why I named my Wi-Fi Hack This If You Smell. Yeah, I'll tell you, no one has ever hacked my Wi-Fi. <laughs> A building collapsed and this guy took a selfie under the wreckage to calm down his family. <laughs> he must have some pretty powerful data to be able to do that. My phone barely connects in my own house. <laughs> Messaging dad. Did you hear about Joe? What's Joe? Um, no, it's who's Joe? <laughs> Joe mama? Wait. <laughs> I was like, oh, this might be real. And then I looked at the top. <laughs> Our school cut down this tree and someone left a cutout of the Lorax on the stump. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. They can't even be mad because you can just take it off, but that's good. Oh, and also, fun fact about me, I can sing Let It Grow from the Lorax in Russian. Kind of. <laughs> Yesterday, my Uber driver told me that he prefers cold pizza, so we'll often order a pizza, immediately put it in the fridge, and then eat it the following evening. I can't stop thinking about how mental he is. <laughs> to be fair, I kind of agree with the Uber driver here. I really like cold pizza. I like warm pizza, but I also really like cold pizza. After years and years of research and development, drawing what I learned in middle school over and over again, I am proud to announce an important discovery. The cool S, but round. <laughs> this guy has too much power. That is terrifying. I got 10 minutes left of being a teenager. I gotta do something rebellious. Uh, guess who just put paper in the non-recycling? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Looking back on this as a 20 year old, I now realize how utterly irresponsible I behaved. I apologize. I have since removed the paper and put it in the recycling. I hope you can forgive me for my foolish and reckless behavior. I can assure you it will not happen again. I am disgusted with myself. <laughs> The white guy blinking meme man is raising money for an MS charity. <laughs> he looks nothing like the, the meme man, but sure. <laughs> r slash ask reddit. Out of the 7.7 .7 billion people on earth, what do you think no one is doing right now? Hmm. Um, OP. <laughs> the person who posted this is just like asking for that, aren't they? r slash ask reddit what would you do if you had a button and every time you press it you win a hundred thousand dollars but one person dies uh get an auto clicker <laughs> well if it's a random person every time and it's a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> i love you <laughs> love you too Ah, more than your dogs um Know your limits. <laughs> that isn't a mad lad, that's just a fair person. PlayStation. What's the creepiest monster you've encountered in a game? Ooh. Uh, microtransactions. <laughs> the kid next door just challenged me to a water fight, so I thought I'd post this while I wait for the water to boil. <laughs> Is this a cursed comment? <laughs> I mean, the profile picture checks out, wow. No matter the size of your opponent, always give it your all. <laughs> the kid's like, oh, I can handle it, don't go easy on me. He's like, all right. <laughs> Alan Stillwell. <laughs> Vandalism, no problem, I can adapt. <laughs> Someone's gonna draw something he's really not gonna wanna draw it himself though, aren't they? <laughs> Hi! Hello there! How's your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Haha, <laughs> I know, just reminding you. Uh, how's your dad? <laughs> you can't reply to this conversation. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> she definitely deserved that one, I've gotta admit. I'm vegan too! No way! Yeah, that's why I swiped right. 
Haha, <laughs> that's amazing. How long have you been vegan for? Um, start this conversation. <laughs> that's a pretty good line, I can't lie. <laughs> Behind every good Ford is a Chevy. Ford. Um, because you won't move out of the fast lane. Chevy. <laughs> is this fast enough for you? Ford. No, not really. Chevy, <laughs> this is such an intense beef, no. Wow, Fake Jake has a Twitter where he posts really funny jokes. Wow, I better go follow that. Oh, and an Instagram where he barely posts on, but will probably post soon, so you should follow just in case. Wow, I'm gonna do that too. Thanks.